sure she pops her ultimate. If you're a Sheol and you come into the Akos, it might be valuable just to go ahead and pop your ultimate from the get-go uh, so that you don't end up in that particular situation as we start things off oh. here with WBG Spider into Frostivus. Frostivus just not able to take control of the situation whatsoever. Spider cleans it up very easy inside the hut here, and Frostivus is going to be heading back to the Soul Altar right away. That was a really lovely little pick there by Spider Starter out. Now we see Mike getting himself in a scrap here versus Shah and Wang Liang. Mike's coming in to try and tidy this kill up with the dual halbers. Absolutely liquefies Wang Liang's shield. Shah trying to break away from Mike. Mike's going to get the pressure up onto him. Who's going to get the kill though is the real question. Mike's playing this slow and steady. Everybody's low. That's one. That's going to be two for Mike. Easy as you like. Start oh, my strong goodness. strong here on the shell. Yeah, absolutely huge there. Spider coming back in, looking for another elimination here, as well as multiple players uh, fighting it out here in the side. Our lovely uh, invisibility bushes over here. This crazy zone. The bell looks like it's been popped already, so Spider's just going to go look back to do some looting there. As we cut over to Jail's AS, going head-to-head -head with TE's S Railgun. Railgun going to whip the parry twice, finally get punished on the second one uh, by Jail's AS. Railgun looking to break away. We'll find the armor swap there into another set of white armor as AS continues to come in. There's that F2 coming in, but he's going to use that as the perfect moment to guarantee that ult comes in, because while they're locked into that animation, they cannot do anything about the ult coming into their face there. We will see. There we go. Uh, the ultimate being locked down there by JL's AS, finding the follow-up on uh, to TE's S Railgun, doing a ton of damage there with it. And Railgun not being able to tap dodge out of oh, the Railgun. way there. Railgun goes extremely low. They're going to parry in each other's face. We will see the F invested by Railgun. A very quick scale rush to get away into an armor swap here. Puts him in a good position. JL's AS going to scale rush away and look to take a reset as both of them, losing their ultimate F on to cooldown, are going to try to uh, take the full reset here. AS, though, going to find a lot of value as they do get the blue armor. They find oh, the parry, parry off of the scale rush into the jumping parry there. Now, Railgun, no S, but does have the ultimate to reinvest here. AS needs to take control of neutral quickly if they want to break away from the old. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to. They get a little bit of damage onto Railgun, though. They get to oh. keep it alive here. JL's AS needs to find control of the fight here. Does their F come back off of cooldown that will be the deciding factor in this fight but railgun's gonna have it back in one second here as just trying to break away huge musket shot from railgun there's the oh, f but is... railgun gets their f back on time to no save way. Them. but as finds it ladies and gentlemen that was insanely right. close there from as Jump. And I genuinely think the armor swap was what cost the life there in the end. They had the gray armor they, when they got the reset off. If they swap back to the blue and reset into full blue, they might have had the health to have lived that. But that was so, so rough for them. Now, Arano is just going to be sitting here inside this house, just healing up. Has popped their ultimate. They're going to keep the pressure up. We're actually cutting over to Shah, who gets parried out here by Mike. Mike is on an absolute tear this game here on the Sheol. Looking for the parry, looking for the damage. Shah loses so much HP off the back of that one. Mike continues to try and pressure up though onto Shah. One range shot is all it's going to take. Can't quite land the pistol shot. Lining up the next one. Shah has just got a sliver of HP and he's dodging every shot as he makes his way over into the town to break away from Mike. Mike's going to keep that pressure up onto pistol shot in the sky. Mike finally finds his mark, and that is his fourth kill of this game. Still got the revive as well, as TT25 secures himself his first. Oh my goodness, Mike to, off to an absolute tear this game as he pulls into first place just off the back of a very aggressive early game here. If he heads into the realm of Yang and is able to find an elimination and get that safety net and pick up a couple more eliminations, he's looking to set himself up for a huge game like T225 had in game at number two. Speaking of T225, a bit on the back foot here, feeling forced to go ahead and pop that ultimate coming in here on EWG's Arano. There we go, looking to set up the TOD. Nothing Arano could do. He gets the elimination. He will get ulted out here by Frostivus. Going to find himself in a bad position. Tries to get over to cleanse it. Doesn't find it. Frostivus will find the uppercut here. Looking to go for the potential infinite. But unfortunately, the terrain catches T225 and keeps Frostivus from following it up. T225 will find the ult to come in and find a little bit of damage there. The F as well for the damage reduction. But he's trapped out in the zone here. There's nothing T225 can do. As we see Frostivus keep it up, he's going to go down to the zone. And he does this on purpose because he does still have a resurrection. And he knows if he tries to turn his back to Frostivus, he's going to die anyway. He just takes the opportunity to try to clutch the fight out if he can. If he doesn't, he gets to live to fight another day.
Yeah, that was also impossible to break away. Frostfist had a charge of his ult, so even if he ran away into the zone, it would have popped in time, and then mm -hmm. he just would have got finished up inside the zone. So makes sense, but he just attempted in a miracle play as uh, Mike running around with the dual swords right now has got himself a uh, good setup at this point. Does need to get a couple of soul jades, though. A little lacking on that department, but with the uh, Realm of Yang spawning up, there may be some goodies in there for them. Maybe, well, hopefully a golden weapon that will suit them. As we're actually having a look at another fight of Mike. This is him versus PST. Catching PST in it. Oh, that is so beautiful. It just keeps PST up in the sky for as long as he needs. And Mike, that was his uh, third kill. We saw his fourth. He's just having an absolute cracker of a game, this guy. Really, really well played. You can already see 11 players in this game. So still plenty of people left. And the aggression, I don't think, is going to be stopping anytime soon. Now, one thing to note is Mike uh, doesn't actually have enough rage right now for his ultimate. Although it is relatively close. So he should stack it up very quickly once he gets inside that realm of Yang. It looks like no one is going to contest him at this portal, so Mike will definitely be getting his hands on that one. Yeah, we're going to see Jails, AS, and TZS Railgun looking to contest one. At PST, Wang Liang, Arano uh, towards our northern Yang looking to go in there. It looks like Arano is going to give up it, the option to contest it there as those portals are getting ready to come through. We're going to see Mike here, like you said, completely uncontested, heading into the realm of Yang. And this is exactly what you should do. If you've got a lead like this right now, if you're able to take this first realm of Yang and get that safety net and go out and aggressively look for those players who are desperate to pick up eliminations, just like T225 did in game number Number two, it is huge for you, and it's going to be the old rivals going head to head here. OUG's Mike versus WBG's Spider. Mike with the weapon and armor advantage here goes in, looks for the F, will find the uppercut there off of it. We're going to see Spider now going in for the ultimate with those jumping leaps, those gold focus. Mike able to tap dodge out of a few. The old going to tick there for the first one. It looks like he has one block oh. left. There we go, coming in there, looking to just completely lock these players down. Oh my goodness, Spider with a huge old cut coming through Mike looks for the opportunity there it is off of the old oh, will find the beautiful. reset huge damage coming in onto the Akos this V1 a very interesting change here for these shales there we go there's the F2 coming in and there we go the TOD is we talked about go for it no oh. he hits the wall though unfortunately we see spider drop it he was so close to setting it up Mike doesn't find the F2 though he's gonna go for it he's again, going again. He's going the grapple up there it is he does oh, it and he goes cool. for the first shot but he's not far enough away and oh you geez mike clutches it out oh mike that almost went so bad for you but you turn it around at the most clutch opportunity has a golden great sword in there i don't think he actually really wants that so i'm gonna get the expectation i'll probably go to a shop and uh grab a hammer and turn that into a into a staff into a pulse sword that's the one uh Yep, literally immediately goes to the shop outside of his might <laughs> his thing. So expecting that to become a pole sword. A, a more a more favoured weapon, I think, than the great sword nowadays. Uh, as far as the great weapons go. We yeah, the skill up. rush is just so strong on the pole yes. sword. It's so strong. It's a bit it's a bit so, uh, sad that the uh, the overcomer is uh is very parryable. <laughs> so not, not many people get to use it, its golden soul jade all that regularly. As uh, it's like Railgun actually is looking to get this that fight here over SS. Remember, he has the buff on him, has actually been able to break away from the uh, from the urn. But Railgun's about to get another charge back up. Has that F as well, catches him with the uppercut again. Here comes the next charge of the ultimate onto AS. AS just needs to not hit this urn, and then Railgun's got this kill in the bag. He doesn't he care about the kill. He just wants the cleanse. He was unable to get the Soul Bloom. PST steals that one away from him, and Railgun invested everything and got nothing for it. The kill denied, the soul bloom denied. And now he's got two minutes 40 to lick his wounds and get his ult back, but immediately gets caught out by an urn. It's just going to try and break away. I don't think you're going to be able to get out of range of this, so there's going to be the charm, and PST is going to keep the pressure up onto Railgun. Railgun uses the F to buy some space for himself here, but PST continues to put the pressure in. Railgun. Gets his armor stripped away. Does get parried back into his face though. And down he goes. PST secures the kill. Oh, that flying kick coming in. Doing so much damage from PST. As we come back over to WBG Spider. OUG's Mike and XCG's Wang Liang. All just trading oh, up. Alliance's Frostum is coming in as well. Mike goes so low here. This is the thing though. He bought that safety net. This is why those Yang changes are so good. Spider going to go down to Wang Liang. Mike back in it with the ultimate. The urn going to...
Fuck him up though, so Mike needs to find some damage here while he can. Question is, are they gonna lock oh. in on the Mike Frost if it is? Wang Liang gonna go down, but it's EWG Zarada with the pistol shot that comes through. Mike able to come in. He's able to get the balloon to immediately turn back into the fight here. He still has 47 seconds left on this. He can just aggressively keep staying in this fight, knowing he's got a safety net here. He wants to find another elimination. He's not that gonna is. find it though. Arano is the one who finds the elimination, but Mike still in the game with five eliminations to his name off to a huge start here so in game back. number four there's no way he just thought you ran back right he just spawned right in the middle of all of that action that is risky by mike it's just gonna come over grab what he can from uh from the corpses of everyone else who just went down in that fight and yeah everybody is spread out at this point but mike potentially feeling a little bit a little bit aggressive right now it's just gonna have to back off as a uh, Wang Liang chasing onto TT25. Everybody is in the area. This could get very, very messy as Wang Liang trying to open up onto TT25. Catching him again with a grapple, just trying to lock him down. T25 playing a uh, an evasive game right now. Has been hit by that grapple though. Tries to turn around onto the fan with Wang Liang. Both of these players playing this very tempered right now, but you can see TT25 taking quite a lot of damage or a lot of uh, harass from other people in the area as the whole lobby is chasing this fight. The no ult zone is actually popped behind them as Wang Liang gets battered back. Doesn't want to jump into that no ult zone. He's about to get his ult back up. So I'd like to be able to use that if necessary, if capable. Is that uh, Mike? Yep. Start a uh, pole sword. Just surfing around in the distance. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are going to enter a little bit of lull here because we are going to come up on that second set of Rama Yanks. Eight players left alive. We're going to take a look at the replay between TEZ's Railgun and JL's AS inside that realm of Yank. Both of these players not wanting to give it up, but a huge fan LMB coming out by Railgun takes the lead in the fight here. JL's AS there with that ult again moving away there into that v1 looking to lock it up the we see the tessa find the ultimate they are not quite able to get it as they are able to cleanse it jails as taking them airborne here on to railgun huge lmb coming out there from the hong so the f invested but it's just not enough as they very quickly go down we're gonna come back as clearly able to get that soul bloom to cleanse the yang depletion here as they continue on here in game number four. All of these players looking to go Everyone in wants and it. this realm of Yang. Who's going to get it? The Aqua <laughs> slot for himself with a huge F invest. And now it's going to be Mike versus Arano just outside the realm of Yang. Alliance versus XG. Oh, the parry. JL. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Arano just looking to clean this up here onto Mike. Mike finally going to pop that ultimate there. Again, very, very interesting change coming out here by these players. Now, Aww. knowing that Akko is apparently going to be in the lobby, he's trying to use that V1 to find value into the matchup here with Akko's Mike and going to miss throwing that ult out there as it goes over their head. It's going to get picked up by the V from EWG Arano there. Arano getting lots of healing here. Able to avoid the first hit, but Mike going uphill here. Not a great position to try to find the fan juggle, but Arano keeps the game alive. Looks to turn around there. Will find the RMB there off the staff to a huge value. Mike just doing their best to stay alive here, but Arano starting to clean things up. Baby. Mike heading towards the band breath, trying to make a play here for themselves, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. He's looking for the loot. He does find the armor well, no way. Mike, man, this dude with the luck of the gods every single time he finds an armor, even when he doesn't know where one is, Mike gets the full reset, is going to live to fight another day. Oh, well, he's got to be careful because everybody is chasing in onto him and everyone has just come out. That's uh, TT25 with a White Tiger's prowess fighting on top. The Bane's Breath comes down. TT25, he can eat that. He's got the regeneration thanks to his buff. Mike has no ultimate, has no F, has nothing to work with. He can't armor swap here. There's no armor to swap into. He's making a break for it as he's just getting into the tree houses, breaking away, but it's so hard. TT25 is almost full regen off the back of that White Tiger's. Mike somehow Mike finds an opportunity to break away and is able to heal himself back up. But that was way closer than he needed it to be. AS now chasing in onto Mike. Mike continues to get pressured onto. AS has a golden fan and that purple armor. He also has the debuff, so he is desperate to get this kill onto Mike. And Mike is just playing the evasion game of his life. Frostibus and Arano finding themselves in a fight here. Frostibus pops the F just to try and get himself a bit of space and break everybody away. Arano keeping the pressure up here onto Frostibus. Frostibus continues to chase forwards. Arano making a break for it at this point. Frostibus unable to really make a connection. Remember, he's got three minutes until his debuff wears off. As Arano 
Can he actually get away from this one? Frostmus is just doing his best to really stick to him at this point. Has still got that ultimate available to him. Is about to get that F back up as well. Frostmus throws down the charm. Has to touch the urn here. But I don't know if Arano is going to get the opportunity. He's being staggered down. And this could just be the end for him. The nunchucks coming in. The full dump does get blocked out. And the armor swap from Arano is absolutely huge. There is an F available to Frostmus. He's about to get his ult back up again. He can throw this one down if he needs to. Arano, though, isn't giving him much of an opportunity to do so. Frostmus doesn't want to full commit knowing that everybody else is in the area. Keeping the pressure up, though. Jumps down onto the low ground. Throws down the ultimate. Actually misses it. Has still got that F, though, to break away. It's getting dangerous for him, though. This ACOS damage is starting to stack up. And Frostabus needs to get a full heal off. The miss of the ult was absolutely tragic for Frostabus there. Arano trying to break away from Frostabus. But he is going to catch him with a grapple. The armor coming in. Very clutch here for Arano. Now Frostabus is in some serious danger. He's going to try and get some rage built up. He's closing in on getting another charge of his ultimate. Has got a meter ready to dump here from these nunchucks. He's going to strip away some of this HP. Almost got that ultimate back up and available. Needs to get some healing done, though. He is in some serious danger right now. And Arano gets the slam down, so the damage reduction does come in from that F1. Frost of Us needs to just break away, but running out of time at this point. 1 minute 30. Has no armor. Has no health to speak of. Is just going to have to throw down the ultimate. He misses again. That's probably just smelt his demise at this point. Arano has all of the advantages here. Catches him with the uppercut. Is actually going to strip away that armor if... Frostabus can turn a miracle. Now is the time. Presses the F to buy some space, but he is going so low. The parry comes in. Catches him with a follow-up. Arano, very low HP. Catches him again with the uppercut. Somehow, Frostabus might have just done this. Can he find it? Yes, he can. That was beautiful. I have been talking about this for the last two months. Frostabus has been in the lab Putting in work with the nunchucks, he knew Trigger was going to be absolutely huge into the coming season. He predicted that nunchucks come back into the meta after a small buff and then these changes. Sure enough, they do. He has been in the lab putting in the time. And because of that, he's got the nunchucks. He is just able against all odds to make the massive comeback in the final moment. The ninth inning, Alliance's Frostimus keeps his game number four alive. Oh my goodness, OUG's Mike here, Kaylee's T225, all trading blows here. Mike with five eliminations, Kaylee's T225 with four. Then of course, XEG's Wang Liang also with four, the top three, four runners in the lobby, five players left remaining alive. Nine minutes and 12 seconds on the clock as zone three collapses onto zone four. The pressure's only gonna go up. Kaylee's T225 trying to cleanse the seduction here, but it's not gonna come through. He just gets run through by the rest of the team and it's Wang Liang who now goes to five eliminations and ties things up with OUG's Mike. We're down to four players left alive and we're not even in zone four yet. I love this. This, as soon as the zip goes out the lobby, the game's just accelerating power and, and tempo so quickly. Why is she always a, uh, she is a defensive character. It's defensive with an aggression, aggressive twist. So they want to be fighting. They want to be using all of those abilities while they're going for fights and not just to heal back up because obviously she, she doesn't have any healing. Really, really nice to see. Eight minutes left in the game. And we are literally down to four final players. There's still so much time to go. See if the players actually do decide to pull the trigger and start scrapping it out with one another. All it's really going to take is one player finding themselves isolated and taking down Frost of Us. Probably itching to find some purple nunchucks or even golden if they're lucky. <laughs> uh, and actually, yeah. J-Team did have it. So they may just try and get the kill on them to get their, their gear off them. Here we come back to a replay here inside the realm of Yang. We'll see how Frost of us ended up with that Yang depletion. Wang Liang here coming in with the legendary staff looking to put in work here. They do believe uh, this is the F2 oh, variation of the ult. There it is. Yes, it is going to come in and get that teleport down onto Frost of us. Comes back in, finds it a second time. He's got one block left in the tank. He's not going to end up needing. He's able to find that jump left click to come through and clean up the elimination there onto Frost of us. But it doesn't matter. Against the odds, Frost of us still comes back. 
It, that it, crazy encounter he had there as we cut back now to XCG's Wang Liang in the live gameplay going head to head here with JT's oh, PST. Yeah, able to dodge the ultimate. And this is one of the downsides of the Tetra, My... right? She does get that ultimate, but it is iframable. It is very, very iframable. So you really need to find a good third party off of it or find a favorable situation with something like a Sheol using their F running at you so that you can guarantee they can't just tap dodge away from it. PST though, taking oh. a beating here. Huge hits coming through, followed up by pistol shots. I don't think there's any way PST oh, gets out of it. No, XCG Wang Liang finds their sixth elimination of the game and Wang Liang here on the ult, but doesn't really care because the attention's not turned on to them. No, we do see Frostbits looking to come in, make something happen here. Mike gonna come in. A huge parry coming in from Frostbits on to Wang Liang and Frostbits able to pick up that legendary fan. Very happy about that situation. We'll walk into a charge RMB from Mike's purple fan though, taking a lot of damage. The ult gonna be invested here by Frostivus. Frostivus just trying to keep the game alive. He doesn't want to allow him to get away here. He knows he needs this if he oh, wants to stay in. Mike will get away in the very end here. Frostivus trying to find most of a reset before Mike keeps the pressure onto him. Mike, though, with no ultimate, will find the F soon, but will oh, find a huge parry. parry on to Frostivus to take the legendary van. And yet again, Frostivus goes back to only blue weapons as he starts to get dodged down here by Mike. Mike up to 50% will take an RB off the blue fan though. And Wang Liang now turns their attention on to Frosty. Frosty oh. with a huge parry picks up the legendary pulse sword from Wang Liang. The ult goes through Wang Liang able to dodge and avoid it. And that's going to be it for Frosty as Wang Liang finds his seventh elimination of the game. He's going for it as well. This is the final fight here. Wang Liang gets knocked back. The golden fans doing so much work here by Mike. That's going to be the ult pop here from Wang Liang, trying to stay alive. He's about to get his F up as well. Plenty of tools for him to work with. Mike, though, has the resources, has the health, but he's just caught by the stars. No room to breathe. Pops the ultimate in response as well, as now Wang Liang on that back foot being chased down, getting so much damage off. Mike doing his best to stay alive here, but Wang Liang going low is able to heal up somewhat as he's making a break for it. They're just... Surfing around the edge of the Bane's breath. They keep the tempo, keep the pressure up onto each other. Wang Liang caught out on the rock face. And Mike is the last man standing.